Good morning. This is Dwayne, and today I'd like to talk about the importance of learning to break up chords. You'll never really play rapidly until you learn to break up chords, because a lot of music, most of music, is made of broken chords of some sort. What I was just playing was bro were broken chords, okay? But if you're a beginner, I, I suggest that you start with a, a chord that you know, like the C chord, and just simply break it up from the bottom. And just gradually speed up. And by that, I don't mean in a few seconds like I just did, but, you know, play it, play that for five minutes each day until you can play it faster. You might use different fingering. I'm using one, three, five, but you can also use one, two, four, because that frees up a, a, another finger for an ex, um, a larger chord, a four note chord if you want to. In other words, I play this kind of thing all the time, those runs. And to do that, you have to have a four note chord, but start with a three note chord, just break it up. And then break it down. Whatever the chord. See, all I'm doing is playing broken chords, and yet it kind of sounds, start to sound, take on a character of its own. Okay, now I'm going to show you, you've seen me play rapid runs, of course. I'm going to show you uh, a piece that my granddaughter plays. And uh, this is her playing this song. And she would never be able to play it at that speed if she didn't know how to break up chords, okay? So uh, this is just a little admonition that you learn to do this kind of thing. What, what the song is made out of is broken chords, such as a C chord. E flat chord, and so on. You know, you just move it from one chord to another. Okay, so here's Elizabeth. 